Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the house. Today, we are removing some coatings on the floor. I'd say resurfacing, but the guy I spoke to at Home Depot specified you are not resurfacing your floor. I realize that, but I'm not completely sure of the word. So if you can tell me exactly what I'm doing, um, kudos, and I will <laughs> try to update this. So let's take a look at what we've got. I am using this Pioneer Eclipse. And if we take a look under this bad boy here, we've got some diamond bits. So what we're doing on the floor, if you've watched any of my previous videos, we had travertine tile through the entire living space. As you can see, this travertine has been completely removed. Fantastic. These little chips and divots, well, I think that comes with the territory. As you can see, there's a lot of them. But what else do we have is remains of thin set on the floor as well as glue. So this is kind of uneven. What I'm doing here is using this diamond bit on this uh, floor coating remover. And this was all, we had like a, a vinyl stick down under the travertine floors. You can still see some residuals here along the edges. This is actually pretty smooth. I'm not gonna feel that under the, uh, uh, the padding. This, let me turn the light on in here. This is whew, basically what this area was. Really, really lumpy, bumpy. So we're, we're getting rid of all this stuff right now. This is a homemade splash guard. Basically, I took some cardboard boxes, cut them down to a size that fit, and I put a garbage bag on either side and taped that in place and I taped that against the wall. And you can see here along the bottom exactly why I did this. I don't want this concrete mud, glue mud, getting splattered all over the walls like I did here. I am gonna clean this up. These walls need to get repainted. I just wanted to show you, I mean, I was four feet away, came around the corner, spun it, splat on the wall. So, I did this side of the room. It was a little off to the side there. I did this side of the room, and now I'm gonna remove these and retape them into this side of the room so I can get this up. Um, <laughs> I got a lot of patching to do, I know. I'm not excited about doing that. That's probably gonna be one of the most time-consuming parts. But this, uh, this remaining fin set here I'm trying to get up so I don't feel any lumps and bumps under my new vinyl floors that we're getting ready to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a couple of our uh, little action cameras and uh, yeah, we're going to see this job in action if you want to try it yourself. This whole process has been incredibly time consuming and back breaking. I'm doing this in between my work hours. It is not fun. Not recommended, but if you think you've got the back and the matzah energy to do it yourself, more power to you. So we got our splash guard replaced. Nice area that we're gonna start working in. We're gonna put down a liberal amount of water. This water is all basically going to turn to uh, a slurry or a mud. I recommend having more than one set of hands, preferably three at least doing this because that's going to turn it into a slurry and more water is going to need to get applied as you go. Um, my extra hands went to the store to get a squeegee sucker for the vacuum so we can clean up quicker. But uh, yeah, let's start doing some grinding.
just stopped at Home Depot. I got this uh, floor cleaning majig. And uh, I guess they failed to mention if you're using this for 24 hours straight, you should probably monitor the blades. I mean, shame on me for not thinking that way, but yeah, so I'm about to bring this in, see if I can get a new one. So this is the scraper. And you can see I've gone through some of the bolts. Some of these are still up. As you see on the edge there, some of those ones are up, but yeah, chewed through it a bit. So swap it out, see what we can do. I got the protection plan. Hope this is covered. All right, so I guess that wasn't a problem. Walked in, handed me a new one, walked out. Keep an eye on it. Easy enough. This is how it should be. That's better. Much better. That's it for this one guys. Uh, I didn't record an outro at the time so I had to go and make one today but um, yeah that was a lot of work uh, but we powered through it. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video uh, comment different parts below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I should have done. Did I need to go through all that? Uh, well. I don't know, but I did. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one. We're going to be doing some floor patchwork.